We have reached the promised land. Bork's Battalion's venture into Division One begins today. And we can officially call it Bork's Battalion as the top comment of the last episode was to get Cam Talbot. So we went out and we got the best version of him that we could. It happens to be his Stanley Cup card we couldn't afford. Or actually, I couldn't find the team of the year version and i did I, I need to bring this up i did make a mistake at the end of the last episode i forgot to put up a poll for dry glass or konechny so what i'm gonna do is this time out we're gonna sit konechny and then at the end of this episode you guys will decide who leaves the team between glass dry and travis konechny so we'll see what happens with tanner glass back in the lineup but you may have noticed with cam talbot we have team shot blocking active. I had this coach kicking around, and because of the addition of Cantel, but we also add team shot blocking to the squad, which should be fairly helpful. Who knows what's gonna happen in this episode? It's gonna be very different. Actually having a goalie on paper, we should be able to rely on, but one way or another, it is time to get this started. Our first game in Division One. Let's go. Ball's in control of the puck through center. And they are in. Great. Oh, Gustav Nyquist. I don't even know what the hell that reaction was. I couldn't, I couldn't spit out the words. Gustav Nyquist. The early goal, the early snipe. And we have a lead a minute and 27 seconds into our first game of Div 1. Gustav Nyquist, what a beauty. Good move from Brett. Ah, wanted to drop back for Bobby. He didn't step into the middle, though. Oh, Votnin. Good save from Cam Talbot. Sammy Votnin just skating up and putting on the brakes like that. That was rough, but a good first save from Cam Talbot. Directing that one to Panera. Looking to Nyquist. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Panarin snipes at home. Beauty. Two straight snipes from this line. Are we going to get a rage quit? Under just over six and a half minutes. Under seven into our first game of Div 1. We are. Well, Division 1, get ready. Bork's Battalion is here. Great kid. Don't get cocky. Rolls to report yet. In the draw. Looking to Malkin. He's in on an onside play. Whoa, what the hell are you doing, AI? Holy shit. Keith Yandel. <laughs> Keith Yandel, the left defenseman. I cut across with Ryan Ellis. Yandel just completely lets me down, and we have to face a penalty shot here early. Let's see what we can do. Nah, felt like I tracked it pretty well. Didn't want to bust out the poke check. Tracked it pretty well. It was just a little bit too late. I 100% blame Keith Yandel for that. For charging the blue line. For absolutely no reason. Oh my god, get in there. Yes, Mike Richards. The deflection. A little bit of patience at the blue line paid off. The deflection goal in front for Mike Richards. And we're right back in it. Holy shit, did we get away with one there? <laughs> God, this guy's poke checks are good, man. We are up against a solid player, although he does have Radko Gudis. Gustav. Oh, what a save from Bishop. Gustav, the one timer! <laughs> Gustav Nyquist, have yourself a night already. His second goal for us tonight. We bounce back from that early penalty shot goal. And we have the 2-1 lead. Gustav Nyquist, have yourself a day. Nicely into the zone. Slides it to the point of That shot hit a man. A shot. Gustav, the big save. You don't get many better opportunities. Richards the snipe, a huge save from Craig Anderson. Thought we had him there. Good save from Anderson. 
Ah, oh, Vatnin, are you kidding me that you didn't just reach for that? Oh my god, holy shit, what a save. <laughs> what a save from Talbot. Uh, Mike Richards doesn't pick it up clean, that's not good. Ray Bork gets tangled up, gets crossed over. And that was a rough power play for us that ends in a shorthanded goal. And we are tied. Too many mistakes on that occasion. Snipe it. Oh, Carter. Carter hits the post. Every time, it's like I have the momentum before the pen, and then it just goes. Ryan Ellis, snipe it. Get your own rebound. Carter. God damn. Carter. Carter, snipe it, and he hits the crossbar again twice now. Jeff Carter has been that close. Damn it. Come on, Bork, turn around. There was no need to backskate there, Ray. Just got to hope it's not a penalty shot. And it's not. We got away with it. Wow. That is horrific. That is horrific. Carried to the corner by Glass. Quick set of one-timers, Dreisaitl the chance, Tanner on the, on the rebound. Damn it. Thought we had it there. Gustav, you gotta be kidding me. You can, can I please switch to my defenseman before it's too late? Thank you. And we are going to overtime. So we have at least earned three points out of our first two games in Division One. You get a look at the stats. I mean, it's it's in my favor. It would be nice to not have to go to overtime here. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It's Richards against Marshand on the draw. And I lost it. All right, then. Now, three on three. I've had some mixed success, as we'll call it. Gotta hope for the best here. He can sit back there all he wants. He can sit back there all he wants. I just need my computers to do a little bit of work for me there, and that's a good start. Taking Marchand offside. That's a good start. He has Brad Richards, by the way. Not even a Mike Richards. He has a Brad Richards. Can't get the face-off win there. Damn it. Here we go. What do you got? No, Botnin. That's what I'm talking about. You can't be doing that. Sammy, you can't be doing that. Oh my god, this is stressful. Good move from him, Talbot. Huge saves from Talbot. Brad Richards gets his own rebound three straight. What was that, two straight pickups on his own rebound from Talbot? Not sure what Sammy Vatnin was doing there. And he gets the win. I don't think we touched the puck in that overtime. Frustrating loss. Really frustrating loss. The third goal in overtime, the winning goal, I'm fine with. You know, I could have played better defense on there. Talbot could have had some better... Could have had some better puck control, some better rebound control, but the first two goals that are really frustrating ones were, simply put, the AI let me down. The AI let me down at our own blue line. But, unfortunate. Unfortunate. But again, three out of our first, or, you know, three points out of a possible four from our first two games in Div 1. I'm okay with that. I feel like I know who this is. I feel like I know who this is. This should be a pretty fun game. This should be a pretty fun game. Fun game. Fun game. Blue line control. Oh, Bork, you gotta be kidding me. Good poke check from Talbot. And immediately, my computers get caught at the blue line. Good save from Talbot. My computers do a bit of work for me. This puck movement's great. Panarin, come on. Come on, Panarin. You have to be better than that. Against a guy like this, you gotta be better than that. Slides it to the point to Niedermeyer. 
With a strong wrist shot. And it deflects. Is that off of, no, it's off of Seth Jones. Thought it was going to be off of Keith Yandel. The shot deflects. That's a, that's a power play goal for Aaron Ekblad and a rough penalty to give up. A very delayed tripping call. But comes the brakes. Good save there, my players, man. They are just not handling the puck at all. <laughs> Anyone gets close to them, they lose it out of fear. That's going to be a goal, most likely. Yep, there it is. 17, standing still. Whew. Maybe a little bit overconfident after the first after the uh, after the first game there. Good goal for him and Patrick Line. And this. This isn't going too well so far. Again, not much help from my AI, but I don't expect anything more. Man, nobody wants to get in front of those, huh? And Ellis hits the crossbar. Oh, of course, we needed that one. We needed that one. Ah, uh, who's my defenseman that it won't let me switch to? That would be Keithy Handel. <laughs> that would be Keithy Handel. And then that's Artemi Panera not doing anything. Boy, that that was a power play for us. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> Good goal for him. Good goal. We are down three as we approach the end of the first period. That is, ah, fuck it. That is rough. That is rough. A whole lot of flat-footed hockey from my computers, and you're not gonna win a, you're not gonna win anything. Div one, div ten doesn't matter. You're not gonna win a goddamn thing in that instance. Carter snipe. Ah, we had to go for the snipe instead of the move. And Bobby Hull doesn't want that, which is fine. It's three nothing after one. All right, we got a hole to dig ourselves out of. Of course, I have the left wing on the right wing, the right wing in the center spot. <laughs> One timer for Connor McDavid, and we're on the board. Well, I'm not going to be completely embarrassed. I'm at least not going to get shut out here. Connor McDavid gets us on the board. I don't know what Jeff Carter's doing there. Not anything helpful, I can tell you that. Much good rebound. Nyquist had no idea. He didn't even try to shoot before I had taken control of him. Oh my god, left wing, please. Ah, that's, that's the type of play I've been getting from my computers. I mean, Jesus Christ, not taking anything away from my opponent in the slightest, but... They haven't been up to the task. They weren't up to the task in the last game, so it's not like it's just, oh, it's only this game where they haven't been playing well. No, they just don't play well often. That's going to be a goal. Yep, two computers just standing in the middle doing nothing. Oh, good interception for McDavid. He's going to get beaten, though. I'm going to have to go forehand. I had to go forehand. He caught up so quick with Niedermeyer, it's not even funny. Well, we were able to strike once with Connor McDavid, but the stats will tell you. He is absolutely dominating me. 100%. Need a, a, in a game like this against an opponent of this caliber, you need a little bit of help. You need a little bit of help from your AI and a little bit of luck. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not tonight, but I'm just hoping at the very least the final score isn't completely embarrassing. That's all I'm hoping for. Good one timer. Good play from Hull. That's his only. I mean, I know what he does. It's just, can I stop him from doing it? And the answer right now is no. Bring the puck low. Back out to the point. One timer because even with the computers on, uh, even with the computers on tight point, they leave the point open. Would have been nice for Hull to get it. I'll take the freebie though. <laughs> I will take the freebie for Yari Curry. Again, I don't care if I lose to Nuge, I just don't want it to be embarrassing. And even with a freebie of a goal, I will take whatever the hell I can get against this guy, man. Oh my god, what a kick. Like, see that? You can't, you can't compete against that. I'm not going to complain. I deserve to have been down by two, if not more. 
I've never seen a player reach his foot as far back as what Trevor Linden just did right there, though. Quick shot, good save for Bishop. And he gets him. He gets him. Good goal for Wayne Simmons. Good goal for Wayne Simmons. I'm still personally not embarrassed by a 5-2. By a 5-2 scoreline. I'm alright with that. <laughs> I am. I'm alright with that. His computers are just everywhere that they need him to be. Keith Yandel. Fuck it. Just stop and let him go. <laughs> Yandel is just... Man, he is out of his depth for Div 1 play. No doubt about that. Oh, that's rough. Well, that will do it. We get three points in our Div 1 venture to start off this... or for this episode, just in general. Just in general. Three points out of a possible six. Some interesting games. Some interesting games. Definitely felt like I should have won the second game as well. This third game, though, I mean, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's not like I can sit here and be like, oh, it's not a person who doesn't know what they're doing. No. You know, my computer's not helping me at all aside. It would have been the same scoreline. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. And that will just about do it for this episode of Bork's Battalion. Again, we got started off on a really strong note, and it declined from there. But overall, 73-11-3 record. And again, the decision is yours for what we should do on the poll. Leon Dreisaitl, one point in six games. Tanner Glass, three points in 11 games. And then you have Travis Konechny, 14 points in 40 games. One of them has to go, so remember when you're voting on the poll, you vote for who you want to be off the team. Vote somebody off the island. As well, top comment is what we will do for the next episode. A rough debut for Cam Talbot, that is for sure. But as far as what I expected for this series, did I expect to walk Division 1? No, I didn't. But we'll find out. We'll find out if I'm able to win that Div 1 title in this series. We have a long way to go. No doubt about that. So guys, thank you very much for watching as always. If you did enjoy the episode, of course, make sure to hit that like button to help support the video and the channel in general. Subscribe if you haven't already to continue following this series and others. Follow me on Twitter at Tugi24 for updates and you know, notifications to let you know when videos are up. You can also hit that stupid little bell that they've added. All that shit, you guys know. The support's been great lately, and I appreciate every one of you, each and every one of you, for that. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.